All right, so being Friday, I had nothing better to do, so I figured let's go down to the Bible Submissions and see what's going on downtown. Hey, everybody. I am in the Bible Submissions today. It was a nice day outside, and the shelves in here and the clothing racks are just brimming with stuff, so I thought I would start over in the clothing section since I don't really show this a lot. I'm actually over in the plus size section, and um, starting off... Um, with this right here it's really nice gorgeous paisley um, it's velvet the paisley print is actually velvet so this is actually really 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 nice and that's actually five dollars so it's another awesome looking shirt and that one is $2.50. It's a nice little top. And this is a Huntington Ridge Plus top that's got uh, purple flowers all through it. And where's the tag for that one? Down here. This one's $2.50. a nice red undershirt nice black undershirt there is a penman's shirt there for 250 there's another decent shirt that one might actually fit me So, let's see what other nice stuff we got here. I really, really, really like that. But I can tell that there's not enough boob, boob room because I'm a large breasted person. So, and there's no stretch or give in the material. So, yeah. I don't know. You know, I might actually try that on just out of curiosity but I might have to definitely try that one on so there's a lot of retro clothing in the rack too um, you can usually find vintage vintage stuff in here as well there's an addition L shirt Let's see. Hey, this this for me is vintage. So something like this. Um, the companies here, like that company right there, um, they reproduce vintage, but you can definitely find tons of vintage stuff in here if you just know what you're looking for. So. I really, really, really like that. I might actually try that one on, too. I'm actually pulling a, um, <laughs> uh, there, there is a lady, and I, her name is just eluding me right now, a tarot something or other. I am so sorry. Uh, it'll hit me here shortly. I might actually go into the room and try some clothes on. So... And the rest of the stuff here is starting to get into smaller sizes. So I will pick out a couple of things and go try some stuff on and be back in just a sec. As I suspected, um, not enough boob room. So, oh well, I tried. I'm just basically in between one of those weird sizes right now. Um, two and a half years ago, being... 378 and right now I'm sitting between 295 and 300 um, I'm in an awkward spot right now for clothing so I just have to kind of bear with everything and keep trucking so we're gonna go somewhere else here in a second Gloria Vanderbilt jeans for um, 250 
Um, these are Gloria Vandervelts for $2.50. Um, so yeah, we'll go somewhere else and actually see what's going on here in just a sec. Okay, I'm over here in the craft section where they have all the luggages and all the material and stuff and I wanted to show everybody something. Um, this goes to show you what you can find if you just go out and look. These are actually um, swatches of um, curtain material from uh, the Simmons Company. Okay, there's the pattern number um, and what it is, rayon polyester cotton. Look at all the potential for tarot bags. There is tons and tons and tons of stuff in this box. There's a really nice crushed velvet one. Let's see if I can find some really decent ones here. Uh, let's go a little bit further down. There's a bigger piece. These would be amazing for tarot bags. It's a really nice crushed purple. Let's see what else we got. You've got standard gray, brown. Um, pull some of the ones out of the bottom here. This is just really, really, really freaking cool. There's a leather piece. And all you'd have to do is just basically cut this out. And they've already got the, the backing on them. Fold it over with a string ran through that. That would be an amazing tarot bag. Wow. So I'm going to dig just a little bit more here. I'm curious. Oh my goodness. Look at that pattern. And there's a silky one here. I'm trying to spread it out for you guys so you can see the whole thing. There we go. That is just absolutely freaking gorgeous. So the, the large pieces are five for a dollar and the small pieces are ten for a dollar. That is just freaking unreal. That one's actually reversible. That is freaking cool. So we're gonna wander around. I might actually pick some of these up. So um, yep, let's go look around somewhere else in the store. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're over in the glass section of the shelves. Now that there is a enough room that I can get in here. It's a nice little Montana <laughs> and a matching plate. <laughs> now this, these are antique. This is like, like diner antique. What's the date on that? Uh, dinnerware. 
1972. So. Some Avon bottles. I reckon those recognize these right off. Yep, little Avon bottles. Offering bowl. Oh, it's not a cupie. Uh, I will go up here and look. Oh, it's a holly hobby. Let's find out real quick. Nope, doesn't say it's a knockoff. Candle stands. Christmas bowls. Oh, that's a neat idea. They've been, looks like they've been fixed a little bit too. These would be great for laying on the altar for representing God and Goddess hands and leaving offerings and stuff in their hands. There's a set there. Um, Two piece set, fifty cents. There is uh, Royal Stafford Bone China, England, fifteen forty five. These might actually be collectible. Uh, got tartans on them and crests, but I only see nope. Both of the saucers and the cups are actually there. If there's a price on them, I'm just curious. Stafford, fifteen forty-five. Oh, wait a minute. Three dollars each. <laughs> A little glass cactus in Arizona for fifty cents. A beaver <laughs> for probably yet yeah, fifty cents. I'm going to turn the camera off because there's people here behind me. 